Thanks, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. Hello, niece and nephew. Uncle Kuka invited Uncle Roger for steak last time. It was so good. This is what he's talking about. I made an incredible video using MSG. I did something that has never been done before, and that was to liquefy MSG and deep fry a steak with it. Now, the results were absolutely insane. And in the end, it was an incredible experience for both of us. However, I can't say the same thing about today, as I'll be using an ingredient that Uncle Roger hates more than anything. The only two things I hate more than people who can't cook. Jamie Oliver and Chili Jam. And here's the star of today's show, Fresh Chili Jam. Now I really had to research which one Jamie Oliver loves the most. And this is the brand, because you can clearly see that he's using it on his iconic fried rice. So I went ahead and bought it. As soon as I open up the can and spread it on the plate, it smells fantastic. And I gotta say, it looks spicy. So before doing anything, I had to see how it tastes. So I went ahead and tried on some toast, which is the most popular way to have it. And honestly, this is delicious on toast. However, how is this gonna work on steak? Well, we're about to find out right now. As you can see, this is a beautiful prime New York strip. It is one and a half inches thick, it has great marbling, and exactly what you're looking whenever you're buying steaks. Now, since I have no idea what's about to happen with the chili jam, I'm going to be running two different experiments. The first one is I'll be dry aging the steak with it. The first thing to do was to remove the steak. Then I lay down a good layer of chili jam right on the bottom. The steak goes right on top, and then the whole jar of chili jam. I'm talking about the more, the better. I literally used the whole thing. I made sure that every single edge of the steak was fully covered with the chili jam. And to be honest with you, this looks a little weird, but I only wish you could smell it because it smells delicious. And doing this experiment was mesmerizing because once I was done covering the whole steak with it, this is what I was left with. The world's first chili jam dry age experiment. And hopefully, Uncle Roger is gonna love it. At least, that's my hope. Because since now the steak is fully covered with it, the only thing left to do is to let it dry age in my refrigerator for seven days. Once the time was up, I took it out and take a look. This is no longer looking good, friends. And most importantly, the smell went from good to bad. If there's one thing I always say is listen to your nose. So this one got me worried. So the next step was to go ahead and remove all of the chili jam from the steak. You see, my hopes is that it already did its job. So making sure to remove all of it was important. Because once I was done, here we got the world's first chili jam dry age experiment. And I gotta say, it looks better than it smells. But hopefully, Uncle Roger is gonna to love it. At least that's my hope. And in case that's not gonna happen, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare two other steaks as well. These are the same kind and the same grade. And since I have two of them, this is how it's gonna go down. The first thing to do is to go ahead and season them. For that, I use a good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. And of course, I did not forget to season both sides. Because one will be the control. The other one, I'll be adding the chili jam to finish it off. And in case that does happen, I went ahead and made a side dish. Now this, I can guarantee he's gonna love. They are Korean marinated eggs. Now to make them, it is super easy to do. The first thing we gotta do is prepare the marinade. So into a bowl, I threw in some gochujang, followed by garlic, green onions, red chili, honey, sesame oil, a good amount of soy sauce, followed by some water, and to finish it off, sesame seeds. Now mix everything well and the marinade is done. As the main ingredients are these, soft boiled eggs. All you gotta do is boil them for six minutes and then peel them. As the following step is to go ahead and pour that beautiful marinade we just made right on top. And I don't know if you ever marinated eggs before, they float. So in order to prevent the top from being white, I highly recommend putting a paper towel right on top. This will prevent this discoloration. Now you want to leave it in the refrigerator overnight. The only thing left to do is to go ahead and serve them. And I gotta say, these are just awesome. I like to pair them up with some fresh rice. So into a bowl, I added some rice, followed by a little bit of sushi vinegar. Then I added some Japanese mayo, that beautiful Korean marinated egg right on top. And as you can see, I like it nice and runny. As now you just add a little bit of the marinade around it and this is today's side dish and honestly i know uncle roger will love this however i cannot say the same thing about the chili jam dry aged steak because i still gotta finish it up and for that i kept it real simple just like the other two i seasoned it with a good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder and i cannot wait to find out how this thing is gonna taste talking about that the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook all of them First, I'll be putting a nice beautiful sear. Then, I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until they reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. So now I say it is enough talking and it is time to grill some beautiful steaks. So let's do it.
Does that look good or what? But before we try it, I want to thank today's sponsor, Manscaped.com. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm a huge fan of Manscaped. And I love their trimmers like the lawnmower for your nether regions. But now they have a designated trimmer for your face. Check out this kit, the Beer Hedger Pro Kit. The Beer Hedger Trimmer has a powerful 7200 RPN motor and titanium coated T-blade that can cut through the thickest of hair in a single stroke. Whether you prefer a five o'clock shadow or a lion's mane, you can choose from 20 different hair cutting lengths with a zoom wheel that uses only one guard. This beard trimmer is waterproof, cordless, and rechargeable, so you can trim in the shower to save time and create less mess. And to make it a special routine, Manscaped also created dermatologist-tested beard care products to help you grow and nourish a magnificent beard. Your Beard Hedger Pro Kit will include the Beard Hedger, the Beard Oil, Beard Shampoo, Beard Conditioner, and Beard Bomb. Simply go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free shipping when you use promo code GUGA at checkout. That's 20% off plus free international shipping with promo code GUGA at manscaped.com. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. But now, let's get right back to it. All right, everybody. Here we got our beautiful steak with Uncle Roger. Welcome, Uncle Roger. Thank you, thank you, Uncle Guga. Why are we eating inside today? <laughs> Usually, you eat outside. I know, but the neighbors with the leaf blower. Hi, yeah. Uh, why he keep blowing leaf? Tomorrow, the more leaf fall. Mm -hmm. Waste of time. Blow leaf for what? Exactly. I agree 100%. On top of that, doesn't allow us to film outside. <sighs> well, I must say, thank you for coming. I am very happy that you're here. I have a little experiment going on. As you can see, I put a little bit of spiciness Ooh. on top of the steak. Every time you make steak, Uncle Guga, it's always the best tasting steak. Thank you, Uncle, Uncle Roger. Roger. Very excited today. I hope that you really like it because I put a lot of energy on this one. You know, you know, you feel good with yeah. good energy. Food tastes better. You of know course. What I mean? Okay, very good. <laughs> good to see nephew Leon also. How you doing, nephew Leon? I'm good, I'm good. I thought you're the janitor. <laughs> Uncle Roger, he's not janitor. He's my uh, generator, uh, not generator. Gener <laughs> Again, Google. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I say enough talking. We're here for steaks. Let's give it a try for steaks. Yes? Good. Okay, so we're going to go this direction. Give me your honest opinion. I just want to know how it tastes. Please dig in. Medium rare, just like you like it. Right, Uncle Roger? Yeah, of course. Well done, people. What do we say to them? They deserve to... <laughs> enough talking. Let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Classic Uncle Guga steak. You feel that char? That is this so better good. than sous vide steak? We don't say that, Uncle Roger. Sous vide just putting <laughs> in water. Anybody can do that. <laughs> I guess you really, really like that real char flavor, right? Yeah. I'm totally with Uncle Roger on that. The kiss of charcoal on a steak is just unbeatable. You can't get that any other way. I can taste like a little bit of extra fattiness on this one. It's a little extra rich, nice and beefy. Perfect steak. Very good. Now let's go for the next steak. I want to know, like I said, it's a little spicy, as you can see a little bit on the, that top. I have seen a lot of steaks and I have never seen you come up with something that looks like that. It looks spicy, I must say. <laughs> Nephew Leon still have sports announcer energy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Same as last time. Yeah. <laughs> He's on the 30 yard line, the 20, the 10, touchdown. <laughs> Sport announcer energy, I like that. Enough talking, let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Ooh. What is this? What are you feeding me, Uncle Kuka? What is this? Why is it so ew? It's, it's, it's sweet. It's just fruity. What the hell? Oh my god. That's so bad. <laughs> throw it out. Give me trash can. What the trash can? Is that bad, Uncle Roger? Take your Uncle Taco. No, Uncle Roger, don't do that. <laughs> Give me mouthwash. Give me Listerine. <laughs> You need to wash my mouth, oh. the taste. It tastes like you just took a steak and you slathered it with jelly. Jelly? That's what it's, jelly. It, tastes, it tastes like. It tastes like grape jelly or like, that's how I get the consistency of jelly. The flavors do not harmonize well whatsoever. You just have that beef richness and savoriness and then just sweet spiciness on top. It's just kind of weird and doesn't work at all. But nephew Leon, still swallow it. <laughs> that not good? What else you do in your free time? Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, children. Uncle Roger, did you enjoy that steak? No, it's weird. It, it, like sweet. Why do you put sweet thing on steak? You know, I wanted to try something different. I've never done this before. I also, like you, I did not enjoy it. I can see that you're very upset with me. I apologize. Yeah, come all the way here to Miami. Sorry about that, Uncle Roger. Whole gold digger town and you feed me this steak. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to do something funny for you, Uncle Roger. But this is what I put what? on the chain. Uh, Chili jam? Yeah. Chili jam on steak, what the hell? Hi, yeah. Chili jam don't belong on egg fried rice and they don't belong on steak also. I agree 100%, 100%. Yeah. To make up for it, I made a little side dish and hopefully it's gonna be good. Go ahead and cut it right in the middle. As you can see, we have a nice runny yolk. Ooh. I hope you like runny yolk. Yeah, everybody like it. Everybody like it. Nephew Leon gonna swallow it. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're the one who, who made him eat chili jam and I'm the one getting roasted, guys. Help me out. And I hope you enjoy it and it takes away the flavor from the chili jam. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Mm, this good. A lot better than that steak. You agree, Uncle Roger? Of course. Huh? This is an awesome side dish. The rice and all the sauces mix together well on top of the yolk from the egg. It creates a beautiful combination that tastes delicious, has a bunch of different flavors, rich, it's tangy, it's creamy. It's awesome. Mmm. Description guy. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty bad. The one in the middle, I agree with you. But the first one is still better. But we got the last one. It should be delicious. Mmm. What is the last one? Tell us first. No, I'm not gonna tell you. You're not gonna tell me? No, you have to eat it first. I don't trust you anymore, Uncle Guga. <laughs> Hopefully you like it. I'm I'm hoping you like it. <laughs> Let's give it a go, please. This show would become like fear factor. <laughs> you know fear factor? Yes, of course. Just eating without knowing. Joe Rogan, Uncle Guga want to be on your show? That's right. I love to. You and him look the same? Really? Yeah. But I look nicer, yeah? Um, you look different. <laughs> <laughs> Enough talking, let's give it a try. Cheers. 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 Hmm. Little bit weird also. Yeah. But a lot better than the one in the middle. Still a little bit weird sweetness. It's weird because the second steak we tried had the sweetness on top of the steak. And now this one, it feels like it has the sweetness inside of the steak. It just tastes like the beef flavor mixed with some type of sweetness and it, in my opinion, doesn't go well together. Whatever this is, does not belong on steak. The sweetness looks like it go into the soul of the beef. More chili jam? I know it's more chili jam. It is chili jam, <laughs> Ankara. So I dry aged it and Karaja for you a week. Dry aged chili. Would you recommend it? No. <laughs> this belongs in Salt Bay restaurant. That's how bad it is. Match made in heaven. Both <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> but I hope you didn't take away my uncle title. No, no, you still have it. This just experiment. Okay. okay. Thank you for coming all the way from London, Uncle Roger. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Make sure you guys go check out his channel. It's on the link in the description. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.